Welcome back to Got Wire. This is a video here about uh, how I got my PF Sense uh, set up with uh, AT and T five gig internet. I was using a UDM Pro, and I got tired of it. And I got tired of basically people saying you know UDM Pro doesn't have a whole lot of features. So I got it set up here with my uh, PF Sense. Uh, sorry, I got a makeshift mic here, but I just wanted to show you how I had it set up here. I uh, ended up putting the um, AT&T's modem and pass-through mode. Uh, you can't see it because I'm uh, blurred out here. Um, but I got a WAN IP address here. Um, and then I have a couple of VLANs set up. One for my camera, one for my Internet of Things, and then one for my regular LAN where I manage everything. And on my camera VLAN, if you can click on status and DHCP leases, or you can go to um, services and DHCP server, you get your regular LAN, my camera LAN, or that's IoT LAN, and then my camera LAN. And you set it up with different IP ranges. But anyways, that's not uh, what I made this video talk about. I made it to talk about with uh, AT&T 5 gig internet. Uh, you can, you know, get around 5 gig. I'll, I'll show you here in a minute my adapter that I'm using that's uh, slowing down my upload speed. Uh, but if I uh, open up speed tests uh, app here. I can find it there it is and hit go we'll see what we get uh, a couple times I was able to get like 4,000 down but obviously here of course since I'm making the video it's a little bit slower um, but I uh, the highest I've seen is like 4,100 on the download and I think it has something to do with my adapter that I'm using on the back here and PF sense because I cannot for the life of me find a 5 gig PCI, see my upload sucks, a 5 gig uh, PCI Express card that will work with P, uh, PF Sense. Because the AT&T modem has a 5 gig port and, you know, I bought a 10 gig port, or a 10 gig card, right here. Um, but it would only, it, all it does is 1 and 10 gig and when I plugged it into AT&T's box, it would only negotiate at one gig. It won't do the it won't do the five or the ten. So um, I'll show you what I'm using here in a minute. Uh, but normally I use uh, Google Speed Tests, uh, Google Fiber Speed Tests, and that's the fastest I've seen. Like I said, this one's a little bit faster. This one averages about 3,500 on the download. And then, like I said, the upload my something's going on with it. I've been having trouble with the upload ever since I got this five gig internet. But, I mean, uh, that's pretty quick right there. But I'll run another speed test here off this app, and it should be a little bit quicker since I ran it with the Google speed test. But, I mean, uh, I like using PF Sense. Um, uh, Lawrence Technology Systems has some great videos on how to set this up. Um, but I'll show you what I'm running it on here, uh, what hardware I'm running it on. I built it myself. I got an i3-10100 in it. And uh, 8 gigs of RAM. Uh, I think my RAM. Yeah, 8 gigs of RAM right there. And like I said, this upload, something's going on with it. So if you guys got any advice on what card to use with PF Sense for the 5 gig, uh, put it in the comments below uh, to see, you know, to help me out here with this upload. Uh, but here in a minute, I'll show you, I'll switch you over to my phone and I'll show you what hardware I'm running it on and how I got it hooked up right now. Um, but uh, if you guys got any comments, you know, feel free to leave them, drop them below. Um, but that's still, you know, pretty fast. 1748, and then my other speed test was, you know, 3000. Um, but I'll blur that out here so you guys can't see my WAN IP address. And here in a minute, I'll show you the hardware I'm running on. All right, this is uh, my PF Sense box right here. It's a little dirty. Excuse the. It's my old Unraid box. That's why I got a bunch of Unraid stickers on it. Um, but on the back of AT&T's uh, modem, the modem router gateway that you get when you get 5 gig, it, I got an Ethernet cable plugged into the 5 gig port, and then it runs over here into the back. I really did prepare for this video into the back here, and this is what I'm having trouble with. Uh, I said it's kind of hard to see, but I got a 10 gig. Uh, RJ45 to SFP Plus adapter, and I think that adapter's uh, slowing it down. And then I have a 10 gig 
SFP plus on fiber uh, from Milan and that's Milan you can see I wrote it on the module there and I have uh, Milan which is 10 gig that runs over to my ubiquity switch down here which is a 10 gig uh, ubiquity aggregation switch and then my computer is plugged in on this blue fiber here and then the uh, LAN is I got it running through my patch panel you can buy a little couplers but uh, this right here you know this switch is getting full 10 gig and then I got my PC plugged into it so I should be you know easily be able to get five you know five gig internet um, but I think what's messing me up like I said is that stupid uh, SFP adapter SFP plus adapter um, I think that one that I got in it is just a cheap one off of Amazon um, but if you guys got any recommendations on cards to stick in there uh, let me know sorry about the lighting um, but this is how you can you know build it yourself I think you know without spending oodles of money I think I spent like 300 bucks on this PC but uh, it just depends on what you want to do if you get the AT&T 5 gig but yeah that's pretty much my I need to clean that fan up there but yeah, that's pretty much my uh, PF Sense box I need to put it in a smaller case because that case is huge and then uh, I cleaned up my rack with some shorter patch cables here um, Mac Telecom Networks likes using these shorter patch cables and it makes the rack look way cleaner I need to get a shorter fiber and eliminate that but and that's what my camera is running off of my um U and VR, but these short patch cables work wonders. But anyways, I just thought I would uh, make a video here and you know say I'm using PF Sense now uh, with my AT&T 5 gig internet. I hope you guys uh, liked the video. Go ahead and like and subscribe. Have a good one.